Traveling the world opens doors to remarkable experiences and fascinating sights that linger in our memories. These destinations are more than just places, they're getaways to culture, history, and the wonders of our world. Join me for today's video, we're going to count down the top 15 most fascinating tourist locations in the world. Starting with number 15, the Ruyi Bridge. When photos of the Ruyi Bridge began to circulate around the internet, many web surfers said it was too crazy to be real. There's no way something this insane could ever exist, right? Well, wrong. The Ruyi Bridge in Zhejiang Province looks more like it belongs to a movie than it does on Earth. Still, China is kind of notorious for building some pretty cool bridges, though. Initially, the wonky walkways are about 460 feet above the ground, and the glass bottom structure, which is 1,400 feet long and suspended 1,000 feet above ground level, was first opened in 2016. Since September of 2020, the unbelievable bridge has been open to the public, but it didn't seem to get too much coverage outside of China until former Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield shared a mystical video of it on Twitter in November of 2020. By that time, it had already attracted over 200,000 visitors. This curving piece of architecture was designed by Hei Yong Chong, a steel structure specialist at the China Metal Structure Association, according to the official Zhejiang Province website. Hei Yong Chang was also involved in constructing several other notable buildings, including the Beijing's Bird Nest, which was built in conjunction with the 2008 Olympic Games. The bridge's architecture is influenced by the Ruyi shape of Chinese folklore, which represents the strength and good fortune. It is a stunning bridge that joins the ranks of China's many other mind-bending bridges, including the Glass Bridge in the Guangdong Province and the Grand Canyon Skywalk in Zhangjiajie and the Tiananmen Skywalk. Death-defying glass bridges are definitely a trend in China, allowing for easier observation and an immersive feel, but they're definitely not for the faint of heart. Number 14. Budludza Monument The Budludza Monument, a striking and surreal structure nestled atop the Budludza Peak in the Balkan Mountains of Bulgaria, stands as both a symbol of communist-era ambition and a haunting relic of a bygone era. It also looks like the perfect lair for a Bond villain. It's often referred to as the House Monument of the Bulgarian Communist Party. The structure was inaugurated in 1981 as a grandiose testament to Bulgaria's socialist regime. The monument was conceived during the peak of Bulgaria's communist rule. It was designed by architect Georgi Stoilov. The building's distinct saucer-like shape was intended to resemble a flying saucer, symbolizing the country's technological progress under communism. The structure has communist symbols and it's adorned with massive mosaics depicting socialist ideals. It served as a gathering place for communist rallies and celebrations during the regime's heyday. However, with the fall of communism in 1989, the Buzludia monument was abandoned and left to decay. It now stands as a stark reminder of Bulgaria's communist past. To reach it, you gotta hike up the mountain, passing through a thick forest that eventually opens up to reveal this imposing structure. The monument itself is a crumbling behemoth, its exterior covered in graffiti, and its interior vandalized and stripped of its former glory. Despite its deterioration, though, the monument has attracted a curious mix of urban explorers, photographers, and tourists intrigued by its history and eerie beauty. The sweeping views from the mountaintop add to this allure, making it a unique destination for those willing to undertake the journey. Number 13. Relay Beach Heading over to Thailand now, this next attraction isn't so easy to get to, but then again, nothing worth doing is ever going to be easy. Part of what makes Thailand's Rele Beach so special is that it's only accessible by boat, and once you get here, boy oh boy are beachgoers in for a real treat. Rele Beach is a great place to soak up the sun in a semi-secluded area, but the rock faces make it the perfect destination for more experienced, more extreme rock climbers. People come from far and wide to take part in sport climbing, with over a thousand routes bolted onto the rock, and multi-pitch climbing for those looking to climb a little lighter. But for the real daredevils, Relay is a hot spot for deep water soloing, meaning you're scaling these high limestone cliffs with nothing but your bare hands. And while you may be climbing without the safety of a net, it's the water that's going to catch you when you fall. Just don't expect a soft landing, because the higher you climb, the longer the fall, and the harder it's going to feel. Luckily for those folks not ready to say goodbye at the end of the day, Rele offers plenty of bungalows, most of which are aimed at tourists and a small selection of luxury resorts. Number 12. Mount Huashan 
If ever there was a place to conquer a fear of heights, Mount Huashan in China is the place to do it. Trekking to the top is a centuries-old tradition. For those who make it there, there are Buddhist and Taoist temples that offer refreshments, including what some say is the best cup of tea in the world. But maybe what makes it so good is the thrill of it all. Any cup of tea is amazing after a journey like this one. Visitors access temples by climbing the aptly named Heavenly Stairs carved straight into the northern peak, or by a trail made of wooden planks bolted into the side of the South Mountain. At some points, even the wooden planks disappear and climbers are left to make do with small divots in the rock. It is a well-known destination for thrill-seekers, and so it's become a bit crowded over the years, only adding to the fear. One little push from an eager tourist behind you, and you'll be heading to the Heavenly Stairs, just not the way you'd hoped. While Mount Huashan is one of the scariest hiking trails out there, it is worth the trip to see the view from the top. Many recommend staying to see the sunrise from the summit even though the hike only takes about 6 hours round trip, meaning trekking up the mountain in the dark. Number 11. Omoide Yokocho Located in Tokyo, Japan, near the busiest train station in the world, a tiny alley of around 60 small bars and restaurants linked by a narrow street just wide enough for two to pass stands in stark contrast to its crowded neighbor. This area, known as Omoide Yokocho, or Memory Lane, started out as a black market in the late 1940s after World War II. The strip was known for cheap drinks and grilled skewers of yakitori. The area's many watering holes and lack of public restrooms earned it a very lewd yet fitting nickname. Let's just say it spoke to the countless inebriated salarymen who would relieve themselves in the alleys. Although the alley was partly raised to make room for the new Shinjuku station and partly destroyed in a fire in the 1990s, a sizable chunk has survived. The local government also rebuilt the fire damaged sections, making sure to restore their original Showa-era appearance. Today, it's filled with tiny stalls serving yakitori and nikomi, a type of beef tendon stew, meant to be washed down with plenty of liquids. This bar is known for offering such delicacies as fried frogs and even salamanders to go with cold glass or Sapporo. Despite its past, the area is now perfectly safe to visit. Most establishments even offer menus in English. To experience Omoide Yokocho in its full glory, it's recommended to visit at nighttime, when most of the tiny bars are open. The lights are illuminated and the area is filled with businessmen and tourists alike looking for a quick snack and a good drink. Like any touristy place, it can fill up fast with bodies bumping against each other like sardines. But to keep things legit for the locals, many yakitori employ a strict, locals-only rule. Number 10. The Provence Lavender Fields is it hard to believe that the most colorful place on earth is going to be in the French countryside? I mean, the calming, delicate fragrance and dusky purple hue of lavender have enchanted people for centuries. So what could be better than surrounding yourself in fields of the stuff? If there's one place in particular that has become synonymous with lavender, it's Provence. With quaint villages and rolling vineyards, the cuisine that incorporates lavender into its oils, honey, and delicious sorbets, Provence is perhaps the best place in the world to see fields upon fields of lavender. Truly, just purple as far as the eye can see. The Valensole Plateau's lavender fields are perhaps the most famous and photographed in the region. This area is filled with fields of not only lavender, but wheat and sunflowers as well, deep blue lakes and picturesque villages. Most famous is Valensole itself, situated above the plateau with the 11th century saint Blaise Church as a focal point. Here, and in the pretty village of saint Croix du Verdon, there's plenty to explore. One of the more notable highlights is the Abbey, where the monastery offers a heavenly backdrop to the Rose of Lavender. The trip is well worth it for the finer fragrance of its fields thanks to its higher elevation compared to most other Provence lavender fields in France. Number 9. Seattle's Gum Wall Seattle's Gum Wall, located in the city's historic Pike Place Market, is a quirky and colorful attraction that's become a symbol of the city's unique character. This unusual yet fascinating tourist spot is not your typical art installation, but rather a testament to the creativity, community spirit, and sense of humor that Seattleites are known for. The Gum Wall's sticky history dates back to the early 1990s, when theatergoers waiting in line at the Market Theater started sticking their chewing gum to the brick walls. Over the years, this spontaneous act of expression evolved into a colorful mosaic of chewed gum that now covers a stretch of wall measuring 50 feet long and 15 feet high. Visiting the Gum Wall is a funky experience. The wall itself is a kaleidoscope of colors, patterns, and shapes, with layers upon layers of gum that have been sculpted into various forms. 
From simple hearts and smiley faces to intricate designs and even miniature sculptures, one of the most intriguing aspects of the gum wall is its ever-changing nature. People from all over the world come to add their own wad of double bubble to the wall, and as a result, the composition is constantly in flux. New layers of gum are added regularly, and occasionally the wall is cleaned, only to be quickly covered anew with gum by eager visitors. However, in 2015 and again in 2018, the gum wall underwent its first major cleaning since its inception due to concerns about its impact on the historic building structure. While some mourned the loss of the layers of gum that had accumulated over the years, it also provided an opportunity for visitors to start fresh, contributing a new chapter in the wall's history. In 2018, the gum wall faced another significant cleaning, but it remains a beloved and unique attraction in Seattle. Whether you find it quirky, charming, or downright strange, there's no denying that the gum wall is an offbeat masterpiece that embodies Seattle's fun-loving and artistic spirit, making it a must-visit destination for those seeking a truly one-of-a-kind experience in the Emerald City. Number 8. Keithorn Keithorn, often referred to as the Venice of the North or the Dutch Venice, is a picturesque village nestled in the northeastern part of the Netherlands. This charming destination is renowned for its enchanting canals, quaint thatched roof houses, and a serene ambiance that transports visitors to a bygone era. At the heart of its allure lies its intricate network of canals that wind through the village like a watery labyrinth. Unlike many cities, Heathorn has no roads. Instead, the primary mode of transportation is by boat. Visitors can explore the village by renting traditional Dutch vessels called whisper boats or punts enjoying a peaceful journey along the tranquil waterway. The architecture here is next level. The village is adorned with charming houses featuring iconic thatched roofs, wooden bridges, and lush gardens. These homes give the town an idyllic fairy tale-like quality that has captivated travelers for generations. The natural beauty surrounding Heathorn is just as awesome. The region is part of a national park, one of the largest and most pristine wetland areas in northwestern Europe. The park is home to a diverse array of flora and fauna, making it a haven for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. You can spot herons, kingfishers, and other waterfowl as you explore the canals. Despite its small size, the town boasts a few intriguing museums. The Museum Hithorn Oldamat Us provides insights into the history and culture of the village, while the, the Oda Arda Museum showcases an impressive collection of minerals and gemstones. Additionally, visitors can explore walking and cycling trails that meander through the surrounding countryside. Hithorn offers different experiences throughout the seasons. In the summer, the canals come alive with vibrant flora and outdoor activities. In the winter, the village takes on a serene snow-covered charm, and ice skating on the frozen canals is a beloved pastime. Moving on to number 7, Bracken Cave. Bracken Cave, located in south-central Texas, is not your typical tourist destination, but it holds a remarkable secret that attracts nature enthusiasts and wildlife lovers from around the world. This unassuming cave is the summer home to the largest colony of bats in the world, making it a captivating and unique tourist experience. At first glance, Bracken Cave might seem like any other cave entrance, hidden within the rugged Texas landscape. However, as dusk falls during the summer months, it transforms into a natural spectacle unlike any other. Millions of Mexican free-tailed bats emerge from the cave in a breathtaking display of nature's precision and beauty. The primary draw of Bracken Cave is its staggering bat population. During peak summer months, which typically run from April to October, millions of these bats call this cave home. In fact, it's estimated that over 15 million bats reside in this cave during the summer, making it the largest bat colony in the world. The most mesmerizing and memorable experience at Bracken Cave is witnessing the evening emergence of the bats. As the sun sets, a seemingly endless stream of bats spiral out of the cave in search of food. The sky comes alive with the fluttering wings and the chirping of millions of bats as they head out for their nightly hunt. Beyond the tourist experience, though, Bracken Cave plays a crucial role in the local ecosystem. They provide invaluable pest control by consuming vast quantities of insects each night, making them a natural and sustainable form of pest management. Additionally, they serve as pollinators for various plants, too, contributing to the health and diversity of the ecosystem. Number 6. Zhangjiajie Glass Bridge China's Zhangjiajie National Forest Park is full of natural wonders that draw thousands of visitors a day, from misty forests to towering sandstone pillars. It's even been said that the Tianxi Mountain Range here even inspired the scenery of James Cameron's Avatar. But it's not rock formations or trees that tourists have been clamoring at recently. 
Instead, they're here for the 400-foot-long, 900-foot-high glass bridge. This bridge, when it opened in the summer of 2016, comes as part of a trend in glass suspension structures, which leave very little to the imagination as you look down. There's Braves Men's Bridge, located in the same natural preserve as the Zhang Zhaozhe Bridge, as well as a bunch of other Chinese glass bridges in both urban and natural settings. All of these has been constructed within a decade of each other, each trumping the last in superlatives. The Zhang Zhaozhe Glass Bridge is currently one of the longest and highest in the world, and one of the scariest. The appeal of these attractions is both the ability to see the natural landscape below one's feet and the element of fear inherent in walking on such a massive structure made of a delicate material. And if that wasn't enough to terrify, one of China's other glass walkways cracked under the feet of visitors just two weeks after its opening. Though authorities assured the public the crack in the glass was merely superficial and no one was in any danger, it's understandable why people were scared. When the Zhang Zhaozhe Bridge was unveiled, a number of public events were staged to prove the bridge's sturdiness, including driving a car across it and whacking the three-inch thick glass pane with sledgehammers. The bridge stood the test, but to ensure safety, only six to eight hundred people are allowed to partake in its glass wonder at any given time. Number 5. The Great Pyramid of Giza The Great Pyramid of Giza is colossal in both size and historical importance. Just imagine standing in front of a massive pyramid that reaches as high as a 40-story building. These architectural wonders were constructed over 4,500 years ago, making them one of the oldest tourist attractions on the planet. The pyramids attract historians, alien enthusiasts, and tourists from all over the world. But no matter what you choose to believe, these majestic pyramids serve as eternal resting places for the pharaohs. These remarkable structures were constructed with even more remarkable precision and engineering skills, showcasing ingenuity and determination of the ancient Egyptians, which does perplex modern-day folk to this day. The Great Pyramid of Giza, built for Pharaoh Khufu, was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. It is kind of mind-boggling to think about the level of engineering prowess and dedication required to create such an awe-inspiring monument. But even more impressive, the Great Pyramid of Giza is the only remaining wonder of the ancient Seven Wonders of the world. It's like a VIP member of an exclusive club and a small glimpse into a bygone era. And here's another exciting tidbit. The pyramid's construction involved the use of over two million stone blocks, each weighing several tons. The Giza Plateau is a part of the larger Nile Valley, which is composed of sedimentary rocks that were formed millions of years ago. These rocks, including limestone and sandstone, were deposited over time by the ancient Nile River. Now, these rocks laid the foundation for the construction of this attraction. The pyramid itself is primarily made of limestone, which was sourced from nearby quarries. This limestone is a type of sedimentary rock composed primarily of calcium carbonate, formed through the accumulation of marine organisms and sediments over millions of years. The use of this limestone in the pyramid's construction not only speaks to the availability of that resource, but it also showcases the remarkable engineering skills of these ancient Egyptians who worked with that challenging material. Number 4. Iguazu Falls Located on the border of Argentina and Brazil, Iguazu Falls is a colossal waterfall system that stretches along the Iguazu River. It is considered one of the world's most extraordinary natural wonders, and it's been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The falls are formed by the convergence of over 275 individual cascades, spanning nearly two miles in width. The creation of Iguazu Falls can be attributed to millions of years of geological processes. The falls are situated in the midst of the lush and biodiverse Iguazu National Park, which was established in 1934 to protect the surrounding ecosystem. The park spans over 165,000 acres and serves as a sanctuary for countless plant and animal species. While Iguazu Falls wasn't built by humans, its stunning beauty has been revered by indigenous communities for centuries. The name Iguazu itself means big water in the Guarani language, and today Iguazu Falls attracts more than one and a half million people annually. It's not difficult to see why, either. Tourists are treated to a sensory feast as they explore the falls. Visitors can experience the deafening roar and misty spray of the cascades, walk along elevated platforms for panoramic views, and even take exhilarating boat rides that venture close to the thundering falls. The iconic Gargancha del Diablo, or Devil's Throat, is a highlight, a massive U-shaped cascade that plunges into the depths below, leaving spectators in awe. 
What sets Iguazu Falls apart from other tourist attractions is its unparalleled sense of grandeur and its ecological significance. The fall boasts a unique combination of height, volume, and natural beauty that captivates all. The surrounding rainforest is also a treasure trove of biodiversity, with jaguars, toucans, and countless other species calling it home. Iguazu Falls is so incredibly famous it's made appearances in various forms of media, from films like The Mission to documentaries and more. Its captivating beauty and dramatic setting have provided inspiration for artists, photographers, and nature enthusiasts alike. Just don't fall in. Number 3. The Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is one of the most iconic and fascinating tourist attractions in the world. Offering a glimpse into the rich history, engineering marvels, and breathtaking landscapes of ancient China. Spanning over 13,000 miles, the Great Wall of China has a history that dates back over two millennia. It was constructed by various Chinese dynasties, starting with the Qin Dynasty around 221 BC, and later expanded upon by the Han, Ming, and other dynasties. The sheer skill on display by the construction of the Great Wall is kind of awe-inspiring. It comprises walls, watchtowers, and fortifications made of stone, brick, earth, and other local materials. The wall follows the natural contours of the landscape, snaking its way through mountains, desert, and grasslands. Beyond its history and architecture, the Great Wall of China offers stunning natural beauty. The wall traverses diverse landscapes, from rugged mountains to rolling hills. Particularly famous are sections like Mu Tianyu and Jinshanling, which are known for their striking scenery. The Great Wall is accessible from several major cities in China, including Beijing and Jian, making it a convenient destination for travelers. Preservation efforts have been underway to protect and restore the various sections of the Great Wall, ensuring that future generations can continue to appreciate its historical and architectural significance. The Great Wall has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, further emphasizing its importance on a global scale. Number 2. Angkor Wat Carved into the heart of Cambodia, Angkor Wat, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands as one of the most fascinating tourist attractions the world has ever seen. This magnificent temple complex dating back to the early 12th century has enthralled travelers for centuries. Angkor Wat, meaning the City of Temples, was commissioned by King Suryavarman II during the zenith of the Khmer Empire. Initially dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu, it later transitioned into a Buddhist site, mirroring the Khmer civilization's cultural and religious evolution over the centuries. Today it remains a harmonious blend of Khmer temple architecture and classical Indian design elements. I've said it before, but Angkor Wat is awe-inspiring. It's encircled by a massive moat. It features a central sanctuary tower flanked by four smaller towers, symbolizing Mount Meru, the mythical abode of the gods in Hinduism. But it's the intricate bas-relief adorning its walls that truly captivates visitors. These carvings depict an array of mythological narratives, epic battles, and snapshots of daily life in the Khmer society of yesteryears. It may not sound like much, but one of the quintessential experiences at Angkor Wat is witnessing the sunrise or sunset over the temple complex. As the sun's first rays touch the temple, it creates a captivating silhouette against the changing sky, attracting photographers, nature enthusiasts, and spiritual seekers alike. Beyond Angkor Wat itself, the surrounding region offers a treasure trove of historical and architectural wonders. Angkor Thom, an ancient walled city nearby, houses an impressive Bayon temple, famous for its multitude of serene stone faces adorning its towers. Taprom, another nearby temple, offers a hauntingly beautiful scene, as towering silk cotton trees have ensnared the temple ruins in their roots. The atmospheric location gained international recognition as a filming site for the movie Tomb Raider. Meanwhile, Bantier Shre, known as the Citadel of Women, boasts intricate pink sandstone carvings that showcase extraordinary craftsmanship. Number 1. The Great Barrier Reef The Great Barrier Reef, an aquatic wonderland located off the northeastern coast of Australia, is a globally celebrated treasure trove of marine biodiversity, and it's a mesmerizing tourist attraction, too. Stretching over 1,400 miles, it's the world's largest coral reef system and, of course, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offering an enchanting underwater world that beckons explorers, divers, and nature enthusiasts from around the globe. The Great Barrier Reef's history is as ancient as it is awesome. Over millions of years, this living masterpiece has evolved, with the first coral formations dating back more than 20 million years. It spans the Coral Sea, extending from the northern tip of Queensland to Bundaberg in the south. Its vast expanse consists of approximately 2,900 individual reefs and islands, each with its own unique charm and biodiversity. 
The vibrant coral reefs are the backbone of the ecosystem, hosting around 400 species of coral, which provide shelter and sustenance for an astonishing variety of marine life. The reef teems with over 1,500 species of fish, including colorful parrotfish, graceful angelfish, and the charismatic clownfish. Dolphins, sea turtles, sharks, and the elusive dugong are just a few of the other charismatic residents in this reef. The incredible biodiversity has earned the Great Barrier Reef its status as one of the most biodiverse and complex ecosystems on Earth. It's not only an ecological marvel, but it's also a perfect tourist attraction. Visitors flock to its azure waters to experience the underwater paradise firsthand. Whether snorkeling, scuba diving, or enjoying a leisurely cruise, tourists are enchanted by the kaleidoscope of colors and the vibrant marine life. Popular destinations for exploring the reef include Cairns, Port Douglas, and the Whitsunday Islands. For those who prefer to stay dry, though, glass-bottom boat tours offer a window into this underwater world. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.